This all new second generation Ford Edge is the result of a clean computer screen. That means it's all new from the tires up. It now gets a derivative of the Ford Fusion platform, which gives it a 25 millimeter stretch in the wheelbase. That brings more interior space and more cargo space. And yes, this Oakville, Ontario built car is finally going to be shipped to Europe. The all new platform is 26% stronger in bending and 14% better in terms of torsional stiffness. Now that gives the suspension a much better base of operations. On the rough roads around here, well it soaked everything up in fine style. It also comes with a remarkably good steering system and it hunkered down when you pushed it into a corner. This is a very different edge than you've driven before. This new Ford Edge is the first car to come with an all EcoBoost lineup. In the base models, you get a two liter, 245 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder. Now in the real world, it's enough for just about any driver. However, if you're looking for some more excitement, go with the optional 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost that's found in the Sport model. It really does ramp up the driving characteristics. Now, for those of you that don't like turbocharged engines, there's some good news. There is, in all models except the Sport, a naturally aspirated 3.5 litre V6. It still brings 280 horsepower, but if you really want to have your cake and eat it, take the Sport's 2.7 litre V6. It really is very sweet. When it comes to technology, there are some noteworthy upgrades. To begin with, the self-park assist, it not only parallel parks, it now perpendicular parks, and there's an assistant that actually gets you out of the parking space. The one I did like, however, was the 180 degree front camera. Now what's interesting about it, whenever you wash the windshield, out comes a little washer jet and it hoses off the lens. That way, whenever you need the camera, it's always clean. You know, there is absolutely no question that this second generation Edge is better in every area. It also gets a much nicer interior and more cargo space. Now, given the expanded dimensions, I was actually expecting a seven seat option, not coming. Now that's a shame and it could handicap it, especially in Europe. It's much easier to take six adults out in a nice crossover than it is two cars.